there, are there any other challenges in the sport? Any other fighters or anybody you'd like to compete with in the sport outside of your weight classes? Any any old legends like like Gina Carano or someone like that you'd like to fight? Any old any kickboxers? Any boxers? Any anyone that you'd just like to like to be able We're to? We're gonna fight do a super fight with each other. Oh, is that right? Yeah, one, yeah. Oh, one twenty-five. My last fight, my career. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be our last fight. <laughs> last fight, retire fight. Right. I want to kick Nina's ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know I'm gonna kick her ass at 125. Like, there's no doubt about it. Oh, I see, I see. 125 is a chance. We're gonna. <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna have to be a catchweight. The first round, she's gonna go catch away. Catch away. We got four more rounds. A belt for a catchweight. 25. <laughs> 25? Yeah, 30. 30. 30 is perfectly in between. This is a whole different relationship dispute. <laughs> like, like, we're, like, no other relationship conversations do UFC titles come into it. <laughs> and, like, I would really try to beat her. I want to try to really beat your ass, though. Oh, and I see you think I'm gonna let you kick my ass? Yeah, we already talked about who would go with you if I would have Papa is mine. Yeah, I know, but that's fine. You like it. That's fine. <laughs> Go get yours. John said he would point. Right. <laughs> we already have this. We already talked about this. It's really going on. Yeah. 130. <laughs> Nina was telling me about your, your your sparring sessions at your old gym. <laughs> oh, that would be and interesting. And how fast she was, and she used to smile at you. And yeah, stuff. she hated. Yeah. Hated. <laughs> you would see her face go like from like to like boom, like because trying to kill me. She, Okay, she connects and then she laughs at me. When she, she's like, bitch, like I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> and then the coach would see me laughing. And then I, and then like, no, 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 that, that's, you know, she, she connected, she like, jabbing me now. I'm like, she's right. Because face completely change. It'll be like, boom, it'll start moving. They'll be like, little ones, it'll be like a straight boom. And she'll be like. <laughs> and then everyone's like, oh shit. <laughs> so, so here's a question. Is there any other time in life outside of the gym where you get that same reaction? Uh, no. No? No. Just that. Just that. Just yeah. that. But you know what's funny? It's like, we don't, we never used to speak about it. Like, we'd be like frustrated at home. But like, we never really like fought, fought. Uh -huh. But like, you wouldn't notice it, but our sparring would be a little harder that day. Yeah. And after we'd be like, yeah, we got it out of our system. <laughs> but, like, it would be like the unspoken thing that happened, but it would be like, it was fun, like we liked when we would be really yeah. competitive, but then she went, got bigger, and I started going to 115 and just... We know it's fine anymore. Yeah, we don't spot No. I know me, because I would have take your head off. Exactly, <laughs> I would love to like, go to the face one more time. It's how you play, the, 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 the way you play an instrument, that's what it tells me then for that part, when I'm conducting the music, is good for me. Maybe the other striking coach is not good for me right now. That doesn't mean that he's bad. Just because the way he, this one plays has more to do with this music, with this specific song. Put it this way. You know, you, I have different uh, drummers. I have different violins. I have different uh, pianists. I have different everywhere, everything. So. Uh, mm, Good. <laughs> it's about listening. Yeah, yeah. You have uh -huh. to listen. It's not about singing. You remember what I said? Yeah. It's listen. That makes the notes in the way I want to play the music. The beauty here is actually one of the beauties here is to have too many coaches, good coaches. And I will tell you this what is plus? Every single coach over here was a fighter before. Something nobody knows about it. Every single one. I don't have one coach over here that it was not a fighter, MMA fighter from the past. Every single one. Fighter, fighter, the one who was a fighter. Every single one. Every single one. Why is that important? I think then the... I also doesn't make anybody then was not a fighter to be a good coach but that is the, that is the question you don't think the experience of being in the situation and as yourself you being there and having that on your skin makes a difference you understand more what i'm saying to you than anybody be seen over here they never fought it's, it's almost like saying not make anybody feel bad but it's almost like saying we speak the same language. 
because we both know what it is to be in a cage, to be in a fight, getting punched, taking punches, kicks, all the situation. We know the feeling, we know the, the emotions, we know from A to Z. So you don't think you'll do anything MMA when you retire then? You think you'll stop MMA? I don't MMA? think so. I feel like I work so hard to like yeah. do everything. I kind of like, you want to maybe manage you, man. Uh -huh. like bringing like girls from Brazil. Yeah, because they'll trust you. It should be, you, yeah. know, you look after them. And I know what I, I passed before. I never is going to do that with those girls, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to, the money, you know? I make yeah. my money. I want to really help you. And I know a lot of women out there. You know, I, yeah. I pass for those moments, I know. Yeah. And I feel like I can like help you. Don't be a manager because it's a lot of work mm -hmm. to, when, especially when you have a lot of fighting. Yeah. yeah. What about TV stuff though? Would you do TV stuff? Maybe. I think you're really good at that. I never thought I would be. I would turn it into fighting ever. Definitely. No, because I was, I was actually playing like Olympic level soccer. So like that was what I was gonna do. I was gonna go play soccer. My dad was a professional soccer player in Europe. So like that was the thing. Like I was gonna be a soccer player, but then I got a motorcycle accident in college. Which like once you're like off the team, it kind of is like very political, like in season to get back. So kind of like screwed that up. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna get a regular job. <laughs> I got a regular job working a nine to five. I was doing accounting for a law firm, um, and then my cousin's like, "Oh, we should like exercise." So we Googled. I'm like, "Well, kickboxing always kept me in good shape." So I just Googled like kickboxing classes, and American Top Team was like 15 minutes from my house. I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> I grew up right here. So like, I Googled. It's like, "Oh, best program," because they had all the advertisement. I didn't even know what MMA, you know, like I watch MMA like on T, I watch WC a lot and all that. And I didn't know women were fighting. I didn't even know it was like a thing. I didn't even know it was like legal. And then my law firm had like season tickets to the arena and there was an Elite XC. And they gave me tickets like, oh, you like fighting? You want to go to these? I'm like, all right, cool. And it was Gina Carano versus Kelly Coco. And I was like, oh shit, girls fight? And then at the time, my brother was like, you could so do this. And I was like, yeah, but I work. And I'm like, ah, I could do it to get in shape. And then I came here, Laborio saw me sparring in one of the amateur classes. He's like, I want you to come during the day to do the training. And then it just kind of. So we each were you in training for four months? Yeah, I was here training. It was only me and Jessica Aguilar at the time. And then I was here for two and a half years. And she was kind of too small for me and stuff, so I left. I went to MMA Masters because of another mutual friend, which is in Miami. She was 135. She's like, oh, I changed gyms. I want you to come help me for my fight. I was fighting at 125 at the time, so I was a little bigger. I was like, all right, I'll go with you to help you at this gym. So I went down to that gym to help her. Amanda was training there. I didn't know her or anything. And she just fought that weekend in Invicta. I saw a new girl in the gym, so she wanted to spar me. So she came and tried to take my fucking head off. And I was throwing back at her, and she was like, oh shit, like, kind of like, you're good for the gym. Like, I kind of want you to stay. <laughs> so, and then it just about seven years ago. So, when did you go back to American Top Team? Three years ago. Like, over there, kind of like, it's like one of those small gyms. We didn't have, we were only sparring with each other. We didn't have any other training partners. It would literally be me and her doing like 20 rounds a week, just beating the shit out of each other. You know, we knew each other's game, so it was kind of like, you fall into that, I know what you're gonna do, you know, and it kind of got very like, so we, I told her, she was like, oh, I wanna look at other people. Like, well, I used to train at ATT. I know the coaches there, they have a lot more people now. So I'll train with the guys, cause we don't, I only train with, we only train with the guys. There's a lot of little guys there now. So she came for a week and she's like, okay, like, she came up here and then we moved right next door and we've been here since. She was thinking about going to Brazil, but so we went back to Brazil and I was like, I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to move to Brazil, so if that's your choice, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, fine, I'll come check out ATT and then she liked it. And I was like, it's really hard to train in Brazil, it's very difficult. It's, I, I speak it, understand fluently. I had no 
a choice. She didn't speak English when I met her. I had to like learn Portuguese to, speak, to teach her to speak English. Because at first she was like nothing. Like she couldn't communicate to me. see nothing. And I was like, she was trying to put everything in Google Translator as I do. I went and bought a bunch of books. Started learning and I was like, okay. And then slowly, slowly now she's speaks pretty good so she well when I met her she was like more of like a brawler and I was more of like a technical striker and that's what kind of like got her like to like come down like her biggest weapon against her was being like that and then getting gashed from the adrenaline of being a brawler and then in between this is when I would do it and I would smile at her and it would piss her off oh my she'll tell you like she would try to kill me he would laugh he would be like all right stop separate you separate us all the time so then like she started becoming more like zoned in and now she still has that, that power of that brawl but it's more like you'll see it. You'll see she'll see it now and be like wait, no, now, boom. <laughs> yeah and she's got like, because her background is judo so like I started doing a lot of trips coming from her because I'm not like a shooter, you know, I don't like to get stuck underneath. But like I have a good clinch from when I do Muay Thai and I use that with her with the judo trips now so like if I do get a takedown she always tell me just take them down and walk away <laughs> and I'll be like All right, you can do it I'm like I know but I don't want you <laughs> that's a good you know like it was it was good for both of us like we were both always the only girl that trained with all the guys and we were the only girls that could actually train with each other not like it'd be like very lopsided we were I was a 25 at the time and she was a 35 so we were pretty much right there and it helped both of us grow a lot and to the point where like it got like it was maybe a year ago where we're like hey, we can't hate each other anymore like kind of like i got smaller and she went up so we was like a huge size there so she would feel bad when she would like lay into me and i would be like what am i you know and i would be like sorry you guys are too much of a difference now but like i'll still drill with her like i'll I can throw kicks at her and she'll use my body, like we can still do that. Live I'll go with her. They don't like it, but I'll like I like it. <laughs> I feel like sometimes you need to feel that. Sometimes you need to feel what it's like to really get hit. And a lot of people like get that shock in the in the in the ring and then they don't know what to do. You know? I already know what it's like to get hard. She hits really, really hard, you know? And I know how to like stay composed after getting hard. But a lot of girls you'll see here, like, they don't really, like, want to spar. They don't like... My favorite thing to do is spar. I wish I could just spar all week. But, you know? That's where I get my timing. That's where I see things. I'm really bad at hitting pads. Like, I'll fuck up every time. I'm kind of like... When we came here, like, I feel like he was a perfect fit for Amanda because she needs that kind of, like, someone that looks over her to be like, calm down. Take the day off. Do this. Because sometimes you get lost in that, like, I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. Or, you know, like, just breathe. Like, God, some people need someone yelling at them in their corner. Some people just need to tell them, like, you know what you're doing? Chill, relax, you know. Exactly, is what she needs. Because she already has a very high running address. She doesn't need someone yelling at her. If the shorts are on. Shit. <laughs> After this, we'll take a break. I have your food here. You good? Tired? Yeah. Ayut is gonna be in Vegas. Yeah, that's good. Make him here. He's gonna compete. Compete? Oh yeah, world. Okay. Uh, something like that. When are you training in Vegas? Will we be in the fight? I'm, I'm gonna go to Syndicate. I always go there. We're good friends with John. Yeah. So. I like the kind of old feeling. The gym and like training in a new. Yeah. Sometimes the performance is too, yeah. feels too like robotic. Too fancy yeah. for me. Oh, but he's already too fancy. <laughs> it is too fancy. Yeah. Which one is Seisha? You know? Seisha, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
There you go. Camo and American flag. What do you think to her next fight? Uh, Michelle Watson? Yeah, I think so. That would be good. Yeah. Because her last fight looked better for her than for, for Tatiana. Yes. Finish because she knows Nina can come back. Nina oh. can go five rounds, no problem. Yeah. Tatiana, no, she dies out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So what do you think to Michelle then? You think she's uh, thinks it's a different kind of challenge? More well, kickboxing. More yeah, kickboxing. that was gonna be stand up. Yeah. You know? Maybe I feel like when Nina uh, get her time and start to connect, I feel like Michelle's gonna wanna grab it or judo throw or something mm -hmm. like that. But I feel most of the fight is gonna be stand up. Yeah. That's gonna be good. Nina like it. But I honestly if Nina was hundred percent that night. She would have beat uh, Tatiana. Yeah. We did it. It's like we can't to get Nina like 100% for the fight. She was in the antibiotics the whole week. We got that, she was sick, she got fever. I talked to her, she said like, listen, uh, we, this fight might not happen, yeah. you know? We let them know right away mm -hmm. how she feeling was pretty bad. And then I take her to the emergency in Chicago, and the, the dogs say like, she has to drink and eat a lot, so like she can, she has to make with. And she's crazy, she started she drink the medicine, and she was lose weight, and with fever, I said like, you're gonna die, <laughs> and she still wanna do it. And she get it, like, she lose weight, she make weight, she wanna make weight. She like, I die, but I'm gonna make this weight. After the fight, after the wins, she couldn't eat anything because she stopped the antibiotics. She not supposed to. And then everything come back. Her throat was so swollen. And fever again. She sleep with fever. You're gonna fight? She's like, I'm gonna fight. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. And then the doctor saw, like, she... The... The, the, the medical dogs, checks. The, the yeah. bag. Yeah. Like, she came open, but uh, they like, oh, everything's okay? The dog, like, yeah. And they're okay. Serious? Wow. And did, was there any point where you thought to yourself, I, I should pull her out of this fight? Were you tempted? No. No. Because I wanted she to go to. Yeah. Because if you were in that situation and you would want her to support you to fight. Yeah. yeah. Was it a big fight? You know, big opportunity for her right after she could be able to to go to the belt. But I still think it was good. Mm -hmm. She went there. She did well. Did a great, yeah, great performance. She did well. Yeah. We know Tatiana would do that. We know we training for that. But sometimes it doesn't work. You know, sometimes it's not the way we want. Yeah. We train, but and she like didn't even always be able to recover. Like you tough as fuck because <laughs> if it was me like not be able to eat after the win, yeah. I would be like, no way I'm not gonna fight. No way. Yeah. No way. She, she need... I don't believe that. I don't believe that. <laughs> I still think you would I don't fought. believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. But yeah, she's very tough, you know, go through the weight cuts. It's pretty, uh. it's pretty tough. Yeah, she's strong. Nina used to like be big and walk around like very heavy. Mm. But I'm glad she did. Yeah. You know, she got another good fight now. Yeah. Right after this, this one, she can go straight mm -hmm. to the belt again. Yeah. And it's in the UK as well. You're going to come over to the UK? I'm going to go there. Before? You've been before to the UK? No, never. First gotta, time. Got to come see us then. For sure, I'm Absolutely. going. Well, we'll, we'll be there anyway. Mr. will be on doing media stuff and that, and I'll be I'll be working the event doing something, maybe commentating or something. It'd be good to see I'm you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for sure. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Tell me about your tattoos. So, tell me about your tattoos. This one is the key from Nina's heart. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sometimes I wanna story. throw away, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I think she feel the same. <laughs> Michael! Michael! So what, what's the one on your forearm then? This one is a war, war. This is a arm, yeah. how do you say? Armor. 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 
And you've got your lioness at the top here, right? Is that the top? No, or have the back. Blade. Oh, in the back, right. Well, but right. he's like um, uh, the flower. Flower de... Oh, Flor de Lee. Flor de Lee. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> in a lioness height. Right. <laughs> Very cool. Mario? This is half the, the cage. Yeah, you don't have the other. But we still have to fix it, not like Yeah, mine looks like an alligator. <laughs> it got all messed up because I went and trained with it. I did the same thing. Like these, yeah. Look at that. All the all the yeah. eggs come yeah, out of these. Yeah, I trained with this and they're picking off. I'm like, well, that's yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. This one is the... Yeah, you both got this. Accomplishment. Yeah. Did you get both those at the same time or did you get one no, and the other? No, she got one. She got this bell, we got that one. And then after she got the next bell, we got that one. Nice. And mine's gonna go maybe like somewhere over here. Yeah, yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. And yeah. I have an owl here. An owl, yeah. An owl. What's that for wisdom? To be wise. When I was young, in my grandma's house it was the first time that I saw an owl. Right. I I remember till today like I was running, and then when I opened the door, the owl was in in um pole. In, in the pole, and then when I opened the door, the owl was like that to me, and then. That was something that I remember until today. And yeah. I said, like, you know, I'm gonna. That moment was very strong for me. Yeah, that's cool. Well, Mario. And Mario. Did he, did he, did he? Oh, yes. <laughs> very cool. Why'd you get Mario then? It was my first present, it was like a Nintendo when I was okay. young. Okay. <laughs> and I played my, my whole childhood. Nice, nice. And it's pretty cool. Yeah. My mommy do not have a lot of. A lot of money, yeah. And then she always be able to to go for me now. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah, that, that is awesome. beautiful. Yeah. yeah, because every birthday, I didn't know if I'm gonna get a present, yes or no. Because I know my mom was single mother, work a lot, and sometimes you don't have money to like extra things. But in this birthday, she got me the present, and I always remember. That was pretty cool. Now she got like the Wii, the Wii U, yeah. the DS, just to play the same Mario on all of them. Oh, down the leg. <laughs> yeah. you're gonna get, you're no, gonna it's get too painful. She had to stop. No, <laughs> I have a fever because this thing. Really? Like the you next day, like <laughs> didn't even be able to put my foot on the floor. Really? <laughs> wow. Honest. So where was the most painful then? What, you, where was your? This one? one for sure. That one was the most painful. My also. most painful was this one because I was really skinny at the time, and they were like solid coloring, like in the rib cage. Yeah. But like it was, I have a really high pain tolerance, like strangely. But her, she, yeah. yeah. This one, she doesn't like pain, this one. Wow. That's awesome. This one was my first one. You gotta add the wrinkles to this now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> See? I like Ooh. this. It's, it's good, it's good healthy, it's healthy. Yeah. yeah. See, when, like, back in the day we would spar here because those things... We would pretend happen. like this didn't bother and then in sparring tomorrow she would, I'd be like, that was because of the wrinkle comment, I get it. Let me see the outfit. What else have you got? She has the key. Oh, it's the owl. Oh, nice. Oh. This is her niece's and name. And my niece's name. Nice. I forgot about it. Nice. <laughs> my first niece. Oh. And you have the locket. Yeah, I have the lock and she has the key. And then she used to have a black belt, but she doesn't have it anymore. Yeah, no, I take it off. But I have the black belt. Oh, very cool. Oh, nice. Very cool. It's got a crossbones. Cool. My, yeah. Mine was a Taekwondo black belt, and then hers was supposed to be a jiu-jitsu one. <laughs> but they, they kind of put a Taekwondo up. one, and I'm like, liar. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your next one, then? you got to finish this one off. I want to finish this one, close this, and I think I'll be done for a little bit. I say that, but this one always has ideas and then, like, drags me along. And I'm like, all right, fine. It's too addictive. It's too addictive. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. Especially when you have someone's like, no, I can do it right now. Like real quick, I'm like, okay, go ahead. We've talked about just get, just getting a gun, just getting a tattoo gun, yeah, and just doing yeah. it ourselves because yeah. we, you know, we're this tattoo is pretty good. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's a good tattoo, it? right? It's pretty. I like it. Look it like you. Realistic. <laughs> Permanent black eye. <laughs> nice. well, yeah. 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 I'm ready for something. Cool. We need to find somewhere nearby that will do. And I've got loads of space. I've got loads of space. I've got a whole leg that's not going to come oh, yeah, here. Right. I've got an unfinished tiger that's got no face. Yeah, that's, that's no good. I hate no unfinished face. tattoos. It's been like that for six years. That's really funny. It's left the face and not so yeah. It's pretty funny. That's a really detailed yeah. leave out. Like, I know. No face for you. It was entirely intentional though, because he didn't want me to post it on Instagram. Yeah, until it was done. So, yeah. Well played, sir. I know, I know, I know. He's a pro. He's a 
He's a, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Around yeah. you, he have a lot of artists. Artists? Artists in Miami, artists. like yeah. in Windward and all that. Uh -huh. Like, you got so many types of artists. They're all really good, too. That's yeah. the thing, you know? It's like, I know a guy, it's like, here, you don't, you don't have a lot of those studios that have the ones on the wall. They're all, like, custom work. So it's like, yeah. they're all really good artists down here. You'll have to go. Yeah, we'll have to find something. Yeah, so, we'll take a look around on Saturday and get something. But yeah, sure. I, I get smaller tattoos now. I used we to have to get your picture. We have to. We have to, absolutely have to. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. These are my, my most recent too. We got the turtle Whoa. with the sunflower. Oh, cool. That's, That's my sister. Cool. My sister loves turtles and sunflowers. And then I have my scorpion. Mm -hmm. And check this. Oh, Bruce when, Lee, when look at that one. oh yeah, my Bruce Lee. Oh, that one is cool. So check my scorpion, when I'm sitting down, the scorpion tails down and it's chilled, it's calm. And when I stand up, it's tails up. It's like back Very up. Very nice. That's I love it. That's oh wow. That's pretty cool. I like it, that is cool. Yeah, yeah Bruce Lee looks really good. Thank you. Yeah. I got this one. Oh, yeah. That was my second tattoo. I need to get it redone. Yeah, I heard those like start to they just fall out, they fade. Eh, not too bad. It was very, very quick. My stomach was the worst. I got yeah. my stomach done. That was my this first right tattoo. I felt like when they were doing like the nerves were going like into my stomach. And I was skinny at the time. Like, oh my God. Yeah. You like, you got it all. That was two days. Yeah. That was two days. Just get it done. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Lindo. Gato. Beautiful. Yes, you guys. When you watch that question, because I know they go back into that room. I don't listen to anybody else. You have enough time for the kids. <laughs> no, because they usually what, what they go to the They usually go to the. D whether you feel like like the champion of one division, which can, which includes both weight classes, or whether you feel like a champion of both divisions and that they're separate. I just wondered because like we've got some people now that are two champions of two weight classes, and I always wonder whether it seems like it's two jobs instead of one. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Yeah. I I feel like I'm like. Champion in both the divisions. Right. Like so, two jobs. Two jobs. So you have two divisions to yeah. watch now. And both is that more stressful? Month, yeah. Having having twice as many fighters to watch out for. Because um, no, the thing is, you, you're gonna take one fight at a time anyway. Yeah. So like in a year, you're probably gonna have three fights. Yeah. But because I like if I go up, division, look, you never. True. If, if I go up, I'm gonna be happy because I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'm eating good. Fine, you're happy. You change your battery. Yeah. The thing is, that I think when anyone that's just food in food that food. division is automatically a contender in 145 because there's no like path to be a contender at 145. Yeah. So it's kind of like any fight that even happens, you're like, oh, maybe she's next for the belt. Yeah, yeah. Because there's what, like three 145 fights a year. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody you want to fight at 45? <sighs> I want a Megan, Megan, yeah, but Megan she's like oh lost. God. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, less, yeah. Uh, less fight. And that and the and the the, the lady she fought is fighting Cyborg. Cyborg. Yeah, and I think that Cyborg's last fight on her contract. Exactly. So she's trying. But to I love you. Yeah. Cause she wanted that rematch with Cyborg. Yeah. Cyborg. Really? Yeah. Why, 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 she, why, she why would you rematch? Why would you want to rematch? Uh, the, the money's about, making it. Uh huh. It's uh -huh. about the proper way. Yeah. yeah okay. it's the money's okay, making. Let's be honest. Who is gonna bring the attention for the pay per view? Cyborg, you know? I feel like. How that. many people are going to tune in to see police? Yeah, yeah exactly. Can you show Spencer? Yeah. You know, they'll, they'll maybe fit in to see Amanda, like, just, which they would say strong. But to the, see the cyborg, is they know the cyborg is already talking crap about the last fight. So now that she lost the fight, has more crap to talk about, and then it would maybe make a little noise. But yeah. But there, I think there for was, sure that would make a little more noise, yeah, you know? Yeah, for yeah. sure. For a while there was no there there had a they had a bantamweight division and Amanda yeah. with both belts on the UFC page. And they didn't even have a featherweight division. They like just disappeared after Amanda fought. So it's yeah. like what do you look what do you look for? Like, oh like I can look at my division and be like these girls is a way to, but then you look at the forty five and you're yeah. kinda like any fight's a contender fight. Love. I feel like if you Spence would be able to handle a couple punches, a couple hard moments in the fight, oh, uh, she yeah. might be able ground to do something. Yeah. 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 You know, with the like ground. Seems like a really good ground game. Yeah, so exactly. Strong. She's got really good striking that you wouldn't expect to come because she's a Taekwondo background that you would not expect. So I guess, you know, it's something you have to watch out for, you know? Yeah, yeah. 
Can we do this? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So retire a double champ. Is that the plan? Yes. Two bouts. Sure. So then both divisions won't have a champion when you retire. Exactly. You're gonna have <laughs> everyone's eyes like, who's next? <laughs> How you call that? Um, where do you you symbolize the notes on the paper when somebody's creating music? Yeah, I don't know the name, but you understand what I'm saying. Uh -huh. If you see five, five doesn't go. It's not like a straight line. Five goes. It's exactly the same thing. Goes notes high, low, medium. Meeting high, meeting low, 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 and come back again. It is a the perfect, the perfectly way, the perfect way for you to understand. When you see it, you say, Shag, they are playing music. Of course, I'm using as analogy for people to understand and see how you have to see it. Because you're not going to go five now. What is that? It doesn't happen if I... It's a different pace. They go down, up, down again, up, take it down, and punch, 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 kick, kick. And do, do you think it's important for, your, for the fighters that you train to control that rhythm? They have to understand about pace, they have to understand when what is the moment you have to identify the moment and say that is the time for me to go high that is the time for me to go down it is identified the opponent too because sometimes you i'm going to give you an example i throw a combination i get you really good and right after that i take you down who did you think that i helped with i helped you because going down after the combination is going to give you time to rest. So that means I didn't pay attention what I was doing. So I went to a complete different note. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense to you? Yeah. Because they weren't, they weren't understanding the rhythm of the fight. They weren't really exactly. Exactly. One second. Hello.